Hello everyone, David here again. I know it's been quite a while since I've posted a BB-8 version two update, but I finally have something to update with. Um, I haven't worked on BB-8 in a very long time. I have been extremely busy with work and I also started another project, Wally, -E, which you can see in the back there. Uh, Wally -E mechanically is just about done. All I need to do is work on the cosmetics. But I gave myself a December 10th deadline to get my version 2 BB-8 fully done, so I've been chipping away at it. Um, as you've seen from my other previous videos, I had a fully rolling, functioning BB-8. Um, the only thing is I had two limitations. One, that my drive system is 100% analog RC controlled. So there's no Arduino, there's no coding, there's nothing, it's just completely analog. The other uh, limitation was that I'm using a hamster drive, which makes active stabilization very hard to do. Um, again, my BB-8 was working, as you can see in past videos. The only problem that I saw is that when I stop suddenly, there's a little bit of wobble. Um, but thanks to uh, BB-8 club member Dan Cohen, he is well versed in the RC plane um, and other RC functions. So he thought he liked the idea of a, a hamster drive as well. And he thought he could come up with a solution to do stabilization using completely RC parts and no Arduino or coding. Um, so I got to give Dan a lot of credit. He's 100% the one who did all the heavy lifting. He came up with this. He told me what I should do. And with his help, I've been able to implement it. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, to give you a little idea is this isn't stabilization per se. It's more like the illusion of stabilization. I'll show you what I mean. So using this little BB-8, uh, in the past, if I'm rolling and I stop suddenly, I'm going to show you an exaggerated version. If I would stop suddenly, he would rock back and forth until he slowly stops. And what this will do is this will keep the head level so that when he rolls and I stop, instead of the head rocking forward, the body might move, but the head will stay on top until it's stopped. And so... It, will, it won't look like it's wobble. It will look like there's just a little bit of body movement, almost giving him a little bit of personality. Um, but it's easier to just show you what I mean rather than explain. So let me fire everything up. Um, first thing, I'll turn on my transmitter and... Okay, so the gyro is calibrating. And then once it's ready to go, I'll show you uh, the basic stuff that you've seen before. Drive forward, drive back, and left and right. Um, and then also the head, I have forward, back, right, left. But what's cool now is there's a gyro in there um, that is set to uh, VTAIL setting. So it's, set, it's using uh, RC airplane um, terms, but it's set to VTAIL, and what that does is that communicates with the servos so that when you press forward, it knows to move both uh, servos in the same direction and the same for back, left, and right. Um, but what happens is there's a switch now, and I'll turn this sideways so you can see. Um, and that switch, if I switch it on, then it's going to switch on stabilization. And then that way, if BB-8 leans forward, his head goes back. If it leans back, it goes forward. And the same as left and right. I'm gonna try and pick this up and do it fast so you can get an idea. It might throw the gyro off a little bit, but I'll show you right now. So, you can see it, it's working to uh, keep things straight up. So if there's rocking, it will hopefully keep the head straight. And the same goes for side to side. Um, I can switch it on and off whenever I want. I can also tweak the gain, uh, which is something that I'll need to 
uh, fine tune once it's in the ball. Right now, I'm just guessing at the settings I'll need because it's gonna be different movement when it's actually rolling with all the, the mass in there. Um, so the next video will hopefully be BB-8 back in his shell with the head on and we'll do some push tests. We'll push him and see how he can balance. Um, but hopefully it'll give just enough stabilization so that the hamster drive won't look that much different than some of the more robust axle drives that are out right now. Um, again, it's just a little update, but for me, it's a huge milestone. Uh, stabilization or something like this was a big hurdle that I didn't know how to solve on my own. So I, once again, a big thank you to Dan Cohen, who really uh, had the idea to implement a RC plane gyro to make it work on a fully analog system. So thank you to that, and I will update you guys with more soon. Thanks.